Hi, I'm Chris Anderson at the EE Web Tech Lab. Today I'll be reviewing the Regal DP1116A programmable DC power supply. The Regal DP1116A programmable DC power supply is a single output dual range 160 watt supply. For connectivity, it has Ethernet, USB, and GPIB. This model comes in at just under $850. Regal used a fresh take on the user interface. The first thing I noticed when I pulled this power supply out of the box is that rather than using an alphanumeric screen, Regal used an LCD screen. That lets them put a lot more information on the screen. You always have all of your parameters displayed. So you can see your voltage, your current, you can actually see your power as well. These are all your current values. And you can also see what you've set your, your voltage and current to, as well as your over voltage and over current. The background of the display is colored red for the high voltage and blue for the low voltage range. That's nice because now across the room, you can see what range you're in. Rather than using a knob to dial in your voltages, Regal has included a keypad. So if I want to set the instrument to five volts, I simply press five and the volt key, and now I'm at five volts. You'll notice that this keypad here is, it serves multiple purposes. If I actually want to increase the voltage similar to a dial, I simply click the up button and you'll see it change from five volts to 15 volts. I can come across and I can dial this down as well. This is also convenient because if I want to switch from the default, which is perhaps five volts, depending on how I've set up my instrument, to say 500 millivolts, rather than dialing down, I can simply put in 500 millivolts. One other feature that I thought was interesting was the alternate display that they employ using dials instead of numbers. I don't know that it's something that I would personally use, but I thought it was at least neat. It uses a unique wave display for a DC power supply. Another feature I haven't seen on a power supply is this wave display. So what this does is it will show you somewhat of a history of the voltages that have been programmed and used. So I've got my output on now. I'm running at 0.5 volts. If I go ahead and increase that to 20 volts, you'll see it jump here on the display. So you can see sort of a time-based variation in your voltage, current, and power. It also has a built-in timer feature. Another feature that Regal has included is what they call the timer function. So if I bring it to the timer function, it's going to kick me over to the utility menu to set it up the first time. I want to go for 5 volts and 1 amp, and I want it to sit there for, say, 5 seconds. Then I want it to switch to 10 volts, also at 1 amp, and I want it to sit there for 5 seconds as well. You can also loop on these settings multiple times, or even in infinitely, if you so choose. Regal calls it a circle function. So if I want to loop on that three times, push three and hit OK. If I just wanted to loop on that infinitely, I select infinity. To start this timer function, I simply press the timer button again. It's going to warn me that it might change my output depending on what my output is now. I press OK, and you'll see that it begins the countdown on the first setting. And now it's moved on to the second setting. You can also see this in the wave display. And so you can see here where it went from 0 volts, and it's pretty small because of the time frame, up to 5 volts, then to 10 volts, back down to 5, back to 10. It will keep doing that. You can also see where you're at on the main display. So now I'm at 10 volts, I have 2 seconds left, it's going to switch to 5 volts again. In conclusion, the Regal DP1116A is easy to use, it has all the parameters on screen at the same time, and a unique timer feature. For more videos and other EE content, go to eeweb.com.